Hi and welcome to a new video in the class mechanics series. In this video I want to talk about the engineer class and the mechanics for each elite spec. Let's start with the base class. Engineer is decent, the leveling experience is acceptable. It could be better if it could use more weapons, but it has only 3. And the main mechanic for engineer is the tool belt, which changes based on what utility skills you choose. The leveling process with engineer could be better like I mentioned above, but the fact that you have weapon kits that switch your entire bar to something else make the experience a lot more bearable. The HP pool is very good compared to Thief for example, but you also have the nice utility skills that make moving from A to B a lot faster. Like always, my recommendation while leveling is to use the gear that you drop from killing mobs and not worry about the stats or buying gear from the trading post. Also, equip Rocket Boots skill for the increased mobility. When you reach level 80, you can get your cheap exotic gear from the trading post. I recommend Nika's armor for the power damage variant. Bonus, it also comes with decent runes, so you do not need to spend extra gold on it. You could also play as a condition damage too, but for base engineer, it's not that good, but you can use it if you really want to. I personally use the power damage variant while unlocking the other specs and it was very good and cheap. As for the build, I recommend this one after you reach level 80. If you have Heart of Thorns, we can move on to Scrapper. This is a power damage elite spec that can also be a support by providing quickness. The healing variant was a bit affected in a recent balance patch as a collateral victim of nerfing mechanist healing, but the power Scrapper is in a good place now and the quickness DPS variant too. The new mechanic for this elite spec compared to the base class is that your 5th tool belt skill changes to function gyro instead of what you had for your elite skill. Don't worry, this is not a nerf. The function gyro is awesome as it can resurrect down people or it can finish off enemies. The more it revives or resurrects, the higher the cooldown will be, up to 1 minute. Also, you get to wield a hammer, which has some nice skills. The build that I use for this class is on the screen. It is very good for open world as you have a few movement skills and very good in group content if quickness is needed. The next elite spec is Holosmith and you need Path of Fire to unlock it. This is the elite spec that made me choose Engineer when I came back to the game after a break. Keep in mind that Holosmith is a pure DPS spec and doesn't have any support options. The new mechanic for this spec is that your 5th belt skill becomes a switch for the Photon Forge, which gives you access to another 5 powerful skills that when used add hit to the meter above your skill bar. With the build that we are going to use, it's good to be above 50% to do extra damage with your skills, but do not reach 150%, otherwise you will take damage and that might kill you if you are unlucky in the encounter. You are also able to wield a sword in your main hand with this pack. I recommend to play this pack as a power damage and to use the rifle instead of sword. If you want, you can use a sword and a shield for open world for the utility and block skills, but for group content the rifle is king in the DPS race. You can play it as a condi DPS too if you want, but the power variant in my opinion is better. The build that I used with this pack is on the screen. And the latest elite spec for Engineer is the Mechanist, which was released with End of Dragons and put the class on the map after being one of the least used. This spec has a different playstyle compared to Scrapper and Holosmith, and by this I mean that you do not have access to your tool belt skills, but instead you get a mech with fixed skills based on your build. The mech is very good when playing in open world as mobs will focus on it instead of you. In group content at the moment is very good with any build, but I am sure it will be brought down a bit with the next balance patches. You can play mechanist as a power DPS or condi DPS, but the OP version is the power DPS. You can also play it as an alak support, either heal or DPS, which makes it one of the most versatile elite specs in the game. I will put the 3 builds that I use most often for it on the screen and in the description. The first one is the power DPS. The next one is the DPS alike version. And the final build is for the healing variant. 
In conclusion, Engineer is one of the best classes in game, mostly because of Mechanist and the simple playstyle. It is very good for beginners, as the mech does most of the damage and recently was changed to not be affected by crowd control skills in PvE. And when you play as a support, your F1 and F3 will not be interrupted by F2. You can use this class in all content easily if you have all elite specs unlocked. Like I said in the previous videos, at the moment I am switching between Guardian, Ranger and Engineer when playing and choosing Mechanist when I don't want to focus on pressing many skills in a specific order. If you want to see more content like this, please let me know in the comment section below and if you enjoyed the video, please click the like and subscribe buttons.